What is up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel guys today i'm going to teach you how to build your own pokemon decks in pokemon pocket so first off we're gonna come into our deck builder my decks build new deck and the first thing i would do is decide what type of deck you want to build so i've got loads of grass pokemon so we're going to do that first so click on the search, scroll down and click on the grass type. And then you need to look at what cards we've got and decide like, okay, I want to build a deck around Venusaur. So obviously we need two Bulbasaurs, two Ivysaurs and take two Venusaurs. So that's six cards out of 20. And then the next thing is we could either go for say two Parasys and one Parasect or and then you know like two venonats and two venomoths or we just choose like flat out just go for another triple evolve pokemon as well oh and we're gonna take we're gonna go for beedrill because beedrill's pretty strong what i like about beedrill is hits hard one energy but also can retreat off one energy as well. So it just means you can like bring in your Venusaur as well if you need to. So that's 12 out of 20 cards. So we've got quite a lot of Pokemon in hand. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to choose our support cards or trainer cards. So always the core should always be two professors and two Pokeballs. They are two of the strongest cards. Professor being probably the strongest card in the game, being able to just pull two cards, it just means that you can sort of cycle through, either find that, you know, find a potion or X speed, something like that to help you, you know, turn a fight around or, you know, pull something big like Venusaur so you can just start popping off. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take an Erica, another Erica. So that's like our two healing cards. So we're quite defensive. And then I'd say we're going to take one X speed so we can retreat and take one red card. Um, red card as well, like two red cards is really good. Red cards can be used defensively and offensively. Ideally, you want to see if like your opponent's got maybe, I'd say five plus cards. It sort of does depend on scenario. Obviously, the more you play, the more comfortable you'll be with it. But it can be so good. If they've got like nine cards in hard, you can literally just strip them of all their cards and then they're just going to go down to three. Absolutely brutal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you build a deck. So you usually want sort of eight support cards, between eight and 10 support cards, depending on uh, what Pokemon we've got in here. Um, so to be fair, actually, sometimes you can even go to 12. Do you know what? Actually, let's mix things up a bit. We're going to change this deck a little bit. So we're only going to have one B drill and um and then you know double up for the for the the venusaur and we're going to take just some other cards so we've got two ericas we're going to take another red card we'll take a take a giovanni two giovannis yeah i feel i feel that's pretty good i mean sabrina's pretty nice as well um but yeah, obviously, there's so many good support cards. It is kind of hard to always choose the right one. I think the next step would be now is just to sort of play with your deck. And then just, it just comes down to fine tuning. So you might go, well, actually, um, Giovanni's not been that helpful. And I need to be a little bit more defensive. Um, so I'm going to bring in Sabrina because she can be good. Because basically, you swap them out. And then either they have to waste energy to retreat to swap out the other Pokemon. So there's all kinds of things that you can do to fine tune, but we've basically got the core of our team and then it's just sort of taking cards out and bringing new cards. And that's pretty much how you build your deck. But I think for me, the most important thing would be choosing the two Pokemon you want to build, two or three Pokemon that you want to build your deck around. And then that's it. Um, I'll show you like a mistake that I did make on an old deck, my electric, electric balls deck. So here I just went, crazy with just there's just too many different types of pokemon here so we've got magnemite we've got voltorb we've got um helitype um and then we've got pikachu and zapdos there's just so much uh, and electrobars there's just so much going on that it's kind of hard to really get things going with this deck so it kind of sucks 
Um, so yeah, you definitely just want to sort of drill down on two or three Pokemon. That's the core of your team. Make sure they've got obviously good synergy and then build around it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. You know, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know how you build your decks out. And if you've got any tips as well, drop them in the comments below. Share, share the love, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.